Colin, there's a busy few weeks ahead at age grade for Ireland. Can you talk us through the plan? Yeah, we have uh, three squads involved over the next, uh, next probably 10 days. We have two under 18 groups. One is participating in a Trinacent festival with England and France. And then we have a, another 18 group uh, participating in a Five Nations uh, festival. Um, they'll play England, uh, uh, Scotland and Italy. Um, and then we have our, also we have our under 19s group in and we'll play two uh, test matches against France and Gary Owen next week. Two under 18 squads and two festivals, what's the thinking behind that? Yeah, well, we feel that this the, the festival format provides a real opportunity to uh, showcase our best school players, uh, coupled with our club players and indeed our exiles. Um, I suppose the, the philosophy of both festivals and participation nations that are taking part is to uh, stretch our players, to develop our players, to learn um, in, a, in a real learning environment, um, to play in a positive manner, to challenge our skill set. Um, so we can effectively measure um, performances, we can effectively benchmark against our, our peers and we can actually see the game and uh, from a northern hemisphere point of view and uh, see the challenges that we may face. Uh, simple things like ball and play, effectiveness of, of set piece, um, our ability to recycle ball, our ability to offload. So all the generic stuff as well as uh, the positional stuff, that provides us a real opportunity. It also gives us good scope to uh, develop our players during this period. Um, the pressure is really not on results, it's just on performance. We want to identify, we want to develop. And in essence, we will confirm some players and we'll also highlight a few other players for later development. And that later development is the under-19s, obviously, and they're in action as well at this time. Yeah, the under-19s affords us a great opportunity to look ahead to next year's under-20s. Um, the, this squad that's uh, participating against France, we've done this for the last number of years. Um, that allows us to really look at our depth for next year um, and to confirm and uh, identify positional strengths and indeed positional weaknesses, but also opportunity to say, right, where do we need to improve? Uh, within eight, eight, nine months' time, these guys will be playing in the Six Nations. So that's very important for us to, to, uh, to acknowledge where we are and where we need to go. And just looking a little bit further ahead than the Junior World Championship, are any of these guys going to come into the frame for that with the under-20s? Absolutely. Um, for those that uh, aren't, aren't in school and outside of school, there's a few under-19s there that, uh, and history will show in the past as well, that if they put their hand up and they perform really well over the next, uh, the next week or so, that uh, indeed they'll put their hand up for, for, uh, for the Junior World Cup. Colin, thanks very much. Thank you.